Talk about finding your first clients. And it was more, hey, sometimes you're going to have to, like, like, hey, sometimes you got to do scout team. So I had, sometimes I had to do some, I had to do some free work. I had to do some free labor and let them know what my skill set is. And once they realized, oh, man, they turn on the film, oh, he can ball. Oh, he can speak. I got enough free labor in. I got enough stat team work in. That all of a sudden, I got promoted to varsity, you know what I mean? So the game ain't changed. It's the same thing. I just understood it differently and just attacked it differently. So when I went full speed into this thing, I'm like, okay, who had I already added value to already? Like, I went and tapped into my... I like to call it your power base. And as an athlete, I believe all athletes got a stage, but all stages aren't created equal. So as an athlete, you already got a stage. Now you determine how big the crowd is and, and who in the crowd. So I didn't do what most athletes do. I played at the University of Tennessee, so I knew I was gonna get into sales and I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. So guess what I did? I stayed in Knoxville, where the University of Tennessee is, is, is located, versus some guys come from certain situations, certain backgrounds, and you want to be an entrepreneur, want to start a business, but you leave your power base and you go back to the, to the, to the crib and you just left where 107,000 people know you and the more people that know you, the more numbers you got a chance to go through to help people buy your product or, or do business with you. So I tapped into my power base. I stayed where I had a brand to a degree at and then I just shifted how they viewed me. They didn't have to view me as an athlete no more. I changed the perception because if you if you perceive different, you receive different and start letting them see me as an entrepreneur, as an author, as a businessman, and start hanging around people that I can help add value to, that had clients, that had the people that I wanted to connect with, that I could help serve. And as I started to do that, it made it easy for them to see me in a way that I can help add value and people do business with people they know, they like, they trust. So they already knew of me. I just had to get them to let them know more of me so they can like me and they can trust me. And then boom, that's how you know that's how I got clients. So, so um, that was the process of getting my first client is, is just thinking about the same process that I did in sports and just tapping into the power base where people knew me at to a certain degree and adding value, whether I had to do it on a scout team, do it for free, or reach out to them and say, hey, I'm gonna do it for way lower than what I think, but I'm gonna add so much value, they, the next time I come around, they're gonna be willing to pay me more.